watch out for beatniks. As I was finishing high school, it was my mentor, Albert Reynolds, who sounded the alarm. Herb Kane, the San Francisco Chronicle columnist, had coined the term for an ill-defined, ill-regarded group of unkempt characters, beatniks. Albert wasn't sure what they were or what they stood for, but he was convinced that I would find them of that hotbed of radicalism, the University of Illinois. When I first took Albert's advice to heart, I had only the most general idea what my life at Illinois was going to be like. Certainly lots of classes and studying, but how about all of that social stuff that was going on? Beatniks? I vowed to look for them. I looked for them in the Union as I had my morning coffee and listened to Dave Brubeck. There was always a dizzying array of interesting people around, but I never saw anyone that I thought was a beatnik. Perhaps the YMCA was where they hung out. I went to a forum about disarmament and went to see if I could see any beatniks. I went to another forum at the local Unitarian Church. Perhaps this would be a good place to find them. Nope, no beatniks either place. My search led me in new directions. I learned that there were dingy little places called coffee houses on the margins of the campus in unused storefronts and dank church basements. For the price of a cup of coffee, you could sit and listen to someone with a guitar belt out a series of fairly standard folk songs. I began to discover a new kind of music. Here's an example. The folk music renaissance of the early 1960s was just beginning. It was led by Pete Seeger and his group, the Weavers, along with Josh White, Theodore Bickell, Harry Belafonte, Opedetta, and many others. It was a new kind of music to me. Music with a message, an opinion, a story, or a point of view, not just pretty songs. Gradually, these traditional forms morphed into the folk rock scene through the work of groups such as the Kingston Trio, Peter, Paul, and Mary, Simon and Garfunkel, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, and more. New and creative players began to crowd the stage, led by Joan Baez and Bob Dylan, who gradually transformed a traditional art form. But what about the beatniks? My explorations took me in many new directions both in music and elsewhere. But most notably, they took me to a lifelong interest in folk music. 
I never found a beatnik. But this music changed my life.